Josh, you've, you've talked a lot in the past about the the importance of energy and especially early energy for this team. I, I don't think any one would fall to your guys' early energy in this game, but but what was it that allowed Arizona to pull away? Are they are they just that good? Um, no, I think we had them in the first half. It was just um, simple mistakes, missed missed blockouts, missed layups, um, and wide open missed shots that we didn't knock out, knock down that really uh, kind of hurt us when they made a low run. Is, is what makes them a, a top five team their ability to, to capitalize on those sorts of things? Uh, yeah, one of the things that Coach Kim was talking about is that they don't make mistakes. In order, in order for us to win, we, we can't make mistakes either. And so when those mistakes happen for us, they capitalize on that and then start to pull away and then we couldn't get back in the game. Robert, even when they, they were up by uh, 20 late in the game, it seemed like you guys were playing with a lot of energy. They came down and had alley-oop. You responded with a dunk. Uh, is, is there more fire in this team than there has been? Um, I wouldn't say has been. I think we, 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 we've had fire, um, you know, uh, back early in the year. I think it's just us doing it at a consistent basis um, and coming down the stretch, you know, it's, it's like Coach Ken said, it's fire in the belly. You know, we got we to gotta have urgency now. Um, you know, the season's almost over, and, and uh, we know we're a way better basketball team than what we're showing. How important are these last couple of weeks in, in terms of setting up for the Pac-12 tournament and being able to do something there? Um, I think it's huge. It's huge. Um, we got Arizona State coming in Saturday. Um, then we got UW the week after. I think um, that can really set a tone for the Pac-12, um, get us a good seed, and uh, have us rolling going tournament time. Josh, get, getting a sweep, then getting another sweep uh, against the Huskies and the Sun Devils, what, what would that do for you and, and do for this team, do you think? Um, well, we beat both of these teams uh, previously, so we know that um, the two definitely winnable games for us, especially for them being at home. Um, so hopefully we'll have a good crowd and get the energy right and then set the tone for our LA trip for the Pac-12 tournament. Josh Ike's been playing real well the last seven, seven eight games, seven points again today. Do you see him be, being more assertive and then more aggressive kind of down, down the stretch of, of the senior season? Yeah, you know, it's uh, really fun, fun to watch him play. He's, um, being really confident, um, his mental is right, knocking down threes, drives, and then finishing through contact. So that's, you know, that's what you know, we're really looking to see for him being a senior leadership. So you, you, you think he can kind of be a model for, for the rest of you guys down the stretch, and you guys can kind of replicate what he's doing? You guys want to give yourself some, some some shots here in these games? Yeah, you know, he's playing really hard, and I think I'm um, setting a good model for the rest of us. So hopefully we can follow suit, and um, we can all start playing as hard as he can. Without scoring a lot, when when Jeff has been getting in, he's had a lot of these uh, you know kind of hustle plays, or he had that uh, assist to Robo for the three. Is, is that bringing something for you guys? Do you think you guys are, are are playing a little better with him on the court because of that energy? Yeah, you know Jeff is one of the most unselfish people that I've ever played with. He'll easily um, give up his shot for someone else's shot that's more open. He takes charge, takes charges, dives on for loose balls, um, gets offensive rebounds, kickouts, it really um, help us with momentum. And I think that's what's been shown in the past couple games when he's been given a chance and an opportunity. Robert, I know the team has sometimes struggled to contain the uh, opposition's athletic big ten uh, throughout the season in very various points. How do you feel you played against Lori Martin here tonight? Um, you know, I, uh, I think I, can, I competed very well. Um, he, he's, he's a very talented freshman. Um, I think uh, me and Josh uh, did a pretty good job. Um, he kind of got a little uh, loose on um, wide open shots and uh, offensive boards, but uh, besides that, I think me and Josh did a good job. And you look at a team like Arizona, very highly regarded. What do you think their ceiling is going forward into March Madness? Um, they, have, they have a very high ceiling. Like uh, Coach Ken always preaches to us uh, before this game is uh, they they always play at a high level. They never come down. Um, you gotta you gotta match their their energy and their uh, competitiveness. And uh, if you don't, they'll run away, run away with it. And Josh, Arizona closed that first half on a 15 to six scoring <laughs> run. You guys went without a field goal for over four minutes. Do you think that was the straw that sort of broke the camel's back? Um, yeah, we had a couple of missed layups. And then I think it was uh, the play at the end where it went off someone's hands and they got an open three to put them up nine. That, that kind of hurt a little bit, but we still had a chance in the second half and they uh, ran away with it. Thanks guys. Thank you.